Hello everyone and welcome to another battle report from my channel. We are on battle report 28. Today is a bigger points game. Uh, this is Dwarfs versus my standard forces of nature player, but uh, practicing for Adepticon we're going to do 2500 points and the scenario we rolled up was loot. So i um, giving away probably my Adepticon list here, but that's okay. Um, I'm playing Dwarves as you would expect. So I have a Berserker Regiment with the Brew of Strength. Uh, two Iron Guard Regiments, both with dogs and two-handed weapon. Um, I guess it's not an upgrade, just side grade because it doesn't cost any more points. Two Ironclad Troops. Two Ranger Troops. Two Hordes of Earth Elementals. Um, you'll see them soon, but the, the painted and <laughs> actually complete one has Elite. Well, the um, stand-in uh, unit has Vicious. A Ranger Captain with Fly. A Standard Bear with Nothing. A Berserker Lord, uh, mounted on a Brock, with a bay Blade of Beast Slaying. Two Stone Priests, Bane Chant Upgrade, and two Greater Earth Elementals, and two Organ Guns. So, with a much less drops than me, my Forces of Nature opponent has three Hordes of Salamanders. One of the Hordes has the Elite, one of the Hordes has the uh, Brew of Sharpness, so plus one to hit, and one of the Hordes has a Brew of Strength, I'll have them uh, pointed out when we get to it. Uh, two Hordes of Earth Elementals, one of them has Haste Upgrade, um, one, no, three Beasts of Nature in total, two of them have Lightning Bolt, and one of them has Vicious, the Vicious and plus two attacks. Uh, three total Unicorns, one of them with the Inspiring Talisman, and two just regular Unicorns, so they're basically uh, heal batteries. Uh, one Druid with Bane Chant, and one Tree Herder with the Regen item. So, we'll go into deployment. Again, I said we're playing loot, but from right to left, uh, regular earth elementals, hasted earth elementals, tree herder. Um, we'll hop over here. So, here are the three hordes of uh, salamanders I'm up against. So, uh, you can see they're plus one to hit, elite, and crushing. Um, the, the skeleton horse rider back there is a stand-in for a druid. That's what the store, or a, a, not a druid, a unicorn. That's what our store, her, or store owner had on hand when we asked him for something on a cavalry size base. You see the druid there in the middle, uh, the other unicorn up there on the left. And finishing out his line are the, the triceratops are the lightning bolt. And the uh, carnosaur is the vicious and there's another unicorn hiding behind them. So dwarves from left to right. Uh, rangers, rangers on the hill are the two organ guns. Then we have the berserkers, and out of sight of the woods there, I think, just hanging out. Uh, and you can see this is after vanguard, so my ranger captain has moved up, and those rangers have both moved up to get out of the hill, so that my organ guns can see. Turn one, I guess it doesn't really matter because the rangers would have moved anyway. But anyway, uh, in the woods there are my two regiments of iron guard. Um, Next to them are two troops of iron clad. Uh, I didn't really figure I needed the screens, so they're just kind of off right now to the side. Um, there, next to them, you can see my stand in for my vicious earth elementals. I have all the models, I'm working on them. Um, this is the only one I've got completed so far. So, uh, yeah, sorry, they'll, they'll be done, they'll be done by Adepticon, but there they are. And behind them is a stone priest. Um, next to them is the completed Earth Elemental, so they're the elite ones, the other ones are vicious. And finishing off is two Greater Earth Elementals, um, and one of the Stone Priests is hiding hiding behind one of those guys too. So, here you can see how the board looks. Um, there's the tokens out. I placed the token you see at the bottom. My idea was uh, to put a firing line down there using that house, so he would have to come around to get that token if he wanted it and he was going to get shot at a lot. Well, at least that was my idea. And he placed the other token way up at the top. So turn one. Turn one goes to forces of nature. Uh, he moves up as you expect. Moves up as you would expect. And moves up as you would expect. Shooting a little bit of lightning from the beasts of nature. That's fine. Uh, and over here we get a little surge. And it gets moved up. So as you expect. A nice neat battle line coming up. So, Dwarves, turn one. Um, we just move up as well. And move up as well. Um, 
I am, I think I move up within charge range of him, but not expecting him to jump the tokens. So moving up so that if he goes up and grabs those tokens, I will get the first charge off, which is a little problematic. You can see on the right side here because I have to climb the fence, but that's okay. So, and then on the other side there, you can see I'm just sitting still because I got a lot of shooting to do. And speaking of shooting, um, we open up with everything we have, I think even including the dogs. And we get nine points of damage on these guys, which is okay. Oh, and I, and I failed to mention this. My, um, my ranger captain could see um, this unicorn, undead, undead unicorn, uh, and flies in and puts a point of damage on him, which is all he needed to do to stop the healing. So... Perfect. So you can see the end of turn one. Uh, we both have some nice neat battle lines, and we're just slogging forward. Turn two. Turn two. Nature, he doesn't charge there at the bottom. He just moves up really close. I'm over here. Yeah. So in the middle, he steps into the woods. Well, it's fine. He's Pathfinder. He doesn't care. But picks up those two tokens, as you can see. And then offsets his other guy, ready to take some charges. And over here, he just moves up. Oh, and you can see back there, his other uh, Earth Elementals turned around to face my Ranger Captain. And you'll see why. Um, so in the shooting, you'll see why. Uh, he shoots this Earth Elemental, but he's okay. And then over here, he surges his Earth Elementals into my Ranger Captain just to get rid of him. A whole lot of healing goes off on these guys, which will be a theme you'll see for a while. And we go into combat, and he routes my Ranger Captain. Poor Ranger Captain. That's fine. He turns around. So, uh, yep. Nature turn two. So, dwarves turn two. Uh, rangers double charge those earth elementals. I, I debated this a little bit, but I thought, hey, why not? Uh, those orcing guns can shoot the other earth elementals, so the rangers aren't really that good at shooting anything defense six, so they're a little better in combat. Crushing strength one. And all of the charges. So, we quintup quadruple yeah quadruple charge this horde of salam salamanders um, the problem is three out of those four units had to climb the fence and the three out of the four units had to climb the fence are the good units so not great but hopefully the uh, this sheer mass of dwarves will be enough to break them <laughs> in the middle i charge the my uh, troop at those guys just because why not um the other then the last horde there gets double charged by my Two hordes of earth elementals. And over here, so we'll, starting in the, we'll get starting in the magic too, but um, the berserker lord and the uh, wounded greater earth elemental go into the front, and the other greater earth elemental gets surged into the flank of this beast of war. So, very good for me. We get one bane chant off. Well, okay, because the other guy cast surge, which is lucky to get bane. I, I'm having terrible luck with these bane chants, but anyway. Shooting. Organ guns do okay. It's nice having them on the hill, not gonna lie. Um, Rangers don't do okay. They do you know, okay, whatever. Uh, the dwarves, on the other hand, though, they, they fail quite completely. I think we only got seven points of damage off, and I know I'm climbing the fence, and that's not helpful, but they really, uh, they really dropped the ball. Over here, these guys do zero points of damage, which was not too unexpected. They ran through the woods. Um, these guys do pretty good. Not great, I guess, thinking about it, but they do something. But over here, um, the uh, the combined force of my monsters and my... Well, so everybody essentially has crushing strength 3 here, including the... Because uh, he has a blade of... The, the, the Berserker Lord has a blade of beast slaying, so he's essentially just an, like a, a monster hunter. Um, he doesn't get a double or triple his attacks ever, but he does get crushing strength 3, he hits on 3, and he's vicious. So, he's, he's pretty mean. So not surprising we were at that, and that's how it looks. So the end of Dwarves turn two, and here's another shot. So you can see you're just a huge mass of infantry smacking into each other. Turn three, uh, nature turn three. So he um, charges both of my earth elementals there. Um, his first salamander horde there charges my elite or the painted earth elementals. His middle salamanders charge the troop that had charged them. And his third salamanders there on the far right charge the left, our left, my left, um, Iron Guard. 
you'll see because spoiler they're gonna die uh and then the earth elementals charge the berserkers and the other earth elementals counter charge one of the rangers that had charged them uh, healing he really heals these guys gets like all of his damage back and bane chansom i guess just to just to spite me uh, a little bit of healing over here not as much um, this this picture is deceptive. He he's not dead. He just doesn't fit <laughs> fit well. These these um these models are designed for 75, 75 by seventy five millimeter bases for for the uh, obsidium golem, so they just don't fit very well. But they get a couple points of damage in. So he's not dead. He's just he's just sleepy. And then the other beast of nature does well one point of damage. So my my, my golems are fine. Or elementals are fine. Um, these guys do okay. But my, again, my elementals are all fine. Uh, he gets about six points of damage in on these iron guards, so he kind of really whiffed. And they're wavered, which is kind of funny. Um, he gets a lot of damage in, though, on these guys, and they're dead. He gets quite a bit of damage in on these um, berserkers, which, again, isn't so surprising. He's going to be hitting on fours and wounding on twos, so. You know, a little bit above average, but. Yeah, yeah, about right. And he gets a few points of damage in on these rangers in route. So, uh, that's what it looks like after a reform and whatnot. And the other side. So you can see he's still got two tokens and I have zero. So up in a dwarf turn three, I pass my headstrong with these guys. Uh, we start the charges, so we triple team again, another beast on the left. Um... Well, the the berserker's in the flank, but he doesn't get a flank. But the the greater earth elemental does, and then the greater earth elemental into the front. And so everyone's just slamming back in. The elementals go back into those salamanders. My troop goes into that horde. Um, the troop and the regiment of iron guard go into that salamander horde. Although again, the it's not so good for them. And then over here, the um, berserkers and the r go into the front, and the rangers go into the flank. I had I had gotten a flank set up because he didn't kill those berserkers. So to get that last earth el get that earth elemental horde beat up, um, I successfully cast some bane chants this turn, which was great. So they're both bane chanted. Um, shooting, it's okay. We get a few points of damage in on these guys. Uh, the organ guns are just you know being left alone. So. Um, triple team, not surprisingly, we route this guy and reform as such. Um, these guys do pretty good. Um, I get him up to, looks like 18 points of damage, but I think I roll like a three or something and we waver them. So they're going to hang out for another turn. These guys actually do a point of damage and yeah, these, these guys don't do that great. Um, you can't tell it by the way the fence is laying down, but my guys are actually still like on the fence. So they're getting a minus one. So, you know, they're doing what they can. Um, over here, the uh, rangers actually do most of the work, but these guys get smacked up really good. So that's awesome. Get them out of the way and reform like such. So the end of turn three. Um, you can see. So you might be saying, hey, those, those, those earth elementals are sitting on that token in the bottom. Well... So we're, we're still following the rule that you have to end your movement phase on the token. And, and that was after a combat reform. So it's not the end of the movement phase. So that's, that's how we're playing this, this. I mean, no one's ever corrected me on that. But if anyone comes in and says, hey, look, no, if you combat reform onto a token, you get it. So turn four. Uh, he recharges my more wounded um earth elemental now those guys the left horde is wavered the middle horde goes back in and then the right horde i think goes into the iron guard i'm sure his tree herder goes into the rangers that were facing him and those earth elementals now at the bottom pick up the token because they just move up a little bit and stand on the token they couldn't charge anybody anyway so just an overview of that he's got all the tokens so healing, he heals these guys up a lot. Uh, and he bane chants these guys just to make sure they can kill my dwarves. Um, 
we go into combat and he gets like a point or two of damage back on this greater earth elemental but he's fine uh he routes my troop which you know it's not surprising and reforms and over here he does i think it's 10 points of damage it's it's hard to see with this, this glare but he ends up rolling again you can't see but he ends up rolling double ones so um it's not that he needed double ones he just needed to you know but he did roll double ones so we took pictures of it uh, and over here his um tree herder does four points of damage to these guys but um they only waver so there's nature turn four I'm getting a little more space on the board uh we'll go into headstrong and i make my headstrong with my rangers so that's great although they can't shoot but they're headstrong um over here we triple charge the last beast of nature um no one's getting a flank this time so i'm not quite as assured by it but you know uh, both of the earth elemental hordes just go back into that salamander horde because you got to do what you got to do um yep there's just that um both of those dwarves will go back into the salamanders there on the left um <clears throat> my over here you can see my berserkers were in range of that last horde of earth elementals so they go charging in and I don't charge in my rangers at the um, tree herder. I just have them stand there. Um, instead, I have my organ gun, <clears throat> as you can see in this picture, open up on them and do nine points of damage. And then I actually roll really well, so I waver him, which was just fantastic. Uh, over here, these dwarves go bat crazy and uh, kill these guys no problem. Let's steal their token. Um, over here... These dwarves do pretty good, but again, I, I, I keep just, just wavering them, <clears throat> which is which is kind of a pain when he's got like a million healing, which obviously you've seen. I haven't gotten rid of any of these hordes yet, but that does finally change over here. Um, <laughs> I failed both of my Bane chants, but um, just the sheer number of attacks is, is really just wearing these guys down, so obviously I'd have to roll double ones on this, and I don't. Um, these guys get lucky. Um... They only put 10 points of damage on them, but I do roll 7 plus twice, so I get through to them. Um, so there's what the reforms look like on this side of the board. So we've finally taken out that. Uh, we've gotten one of the tokens. The uh, elite earth elementals are holding the token. And the vicious ones, <laughs> you, can, you can see my sad model laying on his bases, but yeah, they've they've reformed to face that horde. <clears throat> and you can see the other side. Let's give my, my, my uh, berserkers have a token. So now I have two tokens. Uh, turn five, um, showing off just some regen. He is wavered, but he does move backwards. Um, so his horde there was wavered in the middle, so he just sits still. He moves his unicorns over there to help heal. Uh, and over here, this horde charges my horde. Another shot of that. Healing, he basically gets all the damage back on these guys to back to nothing. Uh, and over here, he gets a Bane Chant on these guys. But even with the Bane Chant, he really, really fluffs it. So they um, they only end up doing three points of damage, which was really low. Um, and that's it. I mean, they were just, he's, he's really kind of low on stuff, and it's all wavered. So that's what it looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. So we're moving to Dwarf's turn five. Oh, so we start um, triple charge. Those uh, salamanders, they're in the middle. Uh, I got a flank in with my um, berserkers, so that's great. Um, the um, rangers are just going to sit there because the organ guns can shoot. Another picture of that for some reason. Um, here the uh, earth elementals go into the front. Well, or the counter charge, the ones that are in the woods who are, who are laying down and looking very sleepy. Um, I move my greater earth elementals up like this. They're pretty much out of the game at this point, but you never know. Um, over here, I'm just showing that I had moved these guys up and pointed them in the, the correct direction. And then cast a ton of surge. I have two uh, stone priests, so I had surge 16 and I only needed to make six. So we got in. So we got this, got this double charge off. Um, shooting, we get the tree herder back up to nine points of damage, but I don't roll so good this time, so he's just gonna sit still. And finally, 
finally this this triple charge got these guys so this is they they survived four rounds of combat almost like three rounds or something of just overwhelming odds so tough um tough nuts to crack but we get them and a blurry picture showing how we reform uh, over here, these guys don't do that good. We only get 10 points of, like, 9 or 10 points of damage on these guys, so they're going to hang out and be just fine. But they, oh, yeah, I do waver them. <laughs> so I must have rolled an 11. That's awesome. Cool. Um, so there's an overview. Overview. All right, turn 6. Um, tree herder regens and charges. Maybe I show the regen later. Um, these guys are wavered, so they don't do anything. He just moves his unicorns around. Um, healing, he heals um, some back on this guy. Oh, this is, a, I think, a combination of regen and healing over here. We go into combat, and not surprisingly, he routes my rangers, which is fine. Reforms like such. And over here, they didn't really have anything to do, so we jump into Dwarves turn 6. Um, you can see I move my standard bear up to, it, just in case there's a turn 7, I move my standard bear up to block the tree herder. Because my ranger, or my rangers, my, my berserkers there have a token. So, we don't want them dying. Although, think about it, I could have dropped the token, move forward. I had to look at the rules of that, and then picked it up with those other guys, but anyway. Over here, we double charge these guys, because why not? Um, and include, oh, I triple charge, because we send the Berserker into the flank. Um, so, yes. Um, Bane Jan here, they're going in. Shooting, we get a few points of damage up on the uh, Tree Herder, but not enough. That's fine. Um, over here, we do get a rear, uh, we get a charge this Unicorn. We do one point of damage, which is enough to stop him from healing. And we do quite a bit of damage. Well, not a lot. We do a bit of damage to these guys. This Salamander Horde. But we just waver them, which, you know, well, that's fine. I still have two tokens, so I didn't need it. So, we roll to see if this is a turn 7. There is. So, turn 7, nature turn 7. Um, my opponent double charges his unicorns into my berserkers, because they're... Sitting there holding a token, and it's really the only the only chance he has to win at this point is to charge these guys. Well, like he can just tie, actually, at this point. Um, charge these guys, kill them, get them to drop their token, and then not have his other salamanders die. So, we'll see what happens. So, he does charge these guys. Um, this unicorn took a point of damage, so he just turns around and charges those guys, because why not? Um, just showing that um, a little bit of healing on his salamander horde, but most of his unicorns are busy. So over here, um, he actually kills my um, berserker regiment, which you know wasn't that hard. Those those unicorns are actually relatively decent, like they, three attacks. It's not bad each. So I kill him, and he overruns like such. Which is important because, again, we play the rule, so far at least, that, that you have to end your movement phase on a token. So that he's contesting that token. And I can't end my movement phase on an uncontested token because he's on it. So even if I kill him, you know, and get him, I, I'm playing that we play it that we can't pick up that token. So uh, his tree hitter goes in and, you know, whatever, smacks this guy a little bit. Is of not consequence, is of not consequence. So, dwarves, we'll start right to dwarves turn seven. So all that matters is, can I route these salamanders? And the answer is yes. So, um, not so anti-climatic, or not so climatic, but anyway. So you can see I picked up that token with my very, very sleepy earth elementals. And that's it. It's the end of the table. Or end of the look, so. Um, yeah, results. Dwarves win. Uh, dwarves take two tokens. The natures get zero. Um, thoughts on the game? Like I guess it. Um, we're doing twenty five hundred points. Practicing for Adepticon. Um, I'm not going to get very many practice games in, but 
I think I've had a lot of practice games with components of this army, so I'm not that worried about not understanding the strengths and weaknesses of any of the parts, more or less just... Uh, I guess so many bodies on the field. It's a, it's a bit of a different experience. Um, I, I brought in more elementals, and they were as awesome as I hoped they would be. Um, I love, if, I, if you've watched my channel, I love Earth Elementals. Um, I just think they're they're an incredible buy. They have a lot of attacks. Well, a reasonable number. Yeah, but a lot of attacks. Good strength. Crushing strength one. It's all good. Defense six. Third. It's all pretty amazing. Um, and yeah, another thing I'm comment on this is build if you want, but so far I'm actually um, rather enjoying this as a uh, as a more of a combat um, heavy dwarf army. Um, not as many dwarfs bodies as some people would probably like out of a dwarf army for the aesthetic, but I uh, <laughs> I just I find I like the elementals better than the dwarves. Um, they just they just perform a role I think that is really needed just to chop through things but having the berserkers alongside the dwarves i think kind of fixes the um well not fixed it's not an issue it's just dwarves don't have as many attacks but throwing those berserkers and they have a monstrous amount of attacks so if you really need to slice through something with a lot of healing like in this game um dwarves dwarves by themselves would have a lot of trouble fighting off of essentially what could be 18 to 20 heals per turn so yeah overall it was tons of fun um so um, I, i've got one more game from this day i actually played someone you've never seen before so maybe i'll get that out today or maybe not but thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you next time